Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know, wherever you may be. The new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, is a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. It is November 23, 2019. Know that today, we are one day closer to our goal than yesterday, and we will all cross the finish line together. First article of interest. Benz. Abdul Mahdi vowed to preserve the lives of the demonstrators and worried about the interference of Iran. 2019 to 23rd November 8 hours 45 minutes and 30 seconds. Baghdad. Reuters. Iraqi Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi has vowed to preserve the lives of protesters, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence said on Saturday. Pence told reporters after a meeting with officials in the capital our bill that he spoke with Abdul Mahdi about the unrest, adding that Abdul Mahdi pledged to him that Iraq is working to avoid violence. He added that the Iraqi authorities will respect peaceful protesters, while affirming respect for the sovereignty of Iraq, expressed concern about Iranian influence. Next article of interest. Barzani. We want to develop relations with America and include all fields. 2019 to 23rd November 9 hours 35 minutes and 51 seconds Iraq, President of the Kurdistan region, Nekhervan Barzani, expressed on Saturday the desire of the region to further develop relations with the United States and to include all fields. Barzani said during a meeting with U.S. Vice President Mike Pence, on behalf of the people of Kurdistan with all its components, we thank the United States of America for the support provided to us in the war against ISIS. We thank you for all your support to Kurdistan and Iraq and we wish to deliver, he said, expressing his desire to further develop relations between the region and America and include all levels. He received both President of the Kurdistan region Nekhervan Barzani and Prime Minister Masrur Barzani in our bill Pence and the delegation accompanying him. An official statement issued by the regional government said that during the meeting, which was attended by Deputy Prime Minister of the Kurdistan regional government Kuba Talibani and a number of officials, highlighted the latest developments in the situation in Iraq and the region. The two sides discussed ways to strengthen relations between the Kurdistan region and the United States to contribute to the consolidation of security and stability and achieve the general interest of Iraq and the wider region. The vice president pointed to the importance of the alliance between Washington and the Kurdistan region, and said, In my name and on behalf of President Trump, we emphasize the role of the Kurds as important allies of the United States in the region. The meeting also stressed the continued support of the United States to the Peshmerga forces in the framework of the fight against terrorism represented by ISIS, which remains a serious threat, according to the statement of the region. Next article of interest. Pence arrives in Erbil and Barzani receives him. 23rd November, 2019 Erbil. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence arrived in the Iraqi capital of Erbil on Saturday evening from Baghdad. The president of the Kurdistan region, Nekhervan Barzani, and his deputies, and the president of the Kurdistan regional government Masrur Rabarzani and his deputy Fobad Talibani and Iqbal Pence at the international airport of Erbil. Officials in the province met Pence immediately after his arrival. U.S. Vice President Mike Pence visited U.S. troops in Iraq ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. Pence also called Iraqi Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi. Pence visited Assad's air base in western Iraq, where U.S. troops are based. Americans celebrate Thanksgiving on Thursday. Next article of interest. Barzani and Talibani meet with the delegation of Kurdistan to Baghdad to discuss the results of the visit. 2019 to 23rd November 14 hours 24 minutes and 8 seconds Iraq. It is scheduled to meet the president of the Kurdistan regional government Masrur Barzani and his deputy Kuba Talibani on Sunday with the Kurdish government delegation, which visited Baghdad to discuss the results of the visit, and then hold a press conference to explain the results of the meeting. A source in the Council of Ministers of the region to Twilight News, 
said that the president of the Kurdistan regional government Masrur Barzani and his deputy Quba Talabani will hold a meeting on Sunday with the Kurdistan government delegation who visited Baghdad. The source added that the Kurdistan delegation will be held after the meeting with Barzani and Talabani a press conference to explain the results of his visit to Baghdad. The source invited the media and press institutions to attend the cabinet at 9 a.m. on Sunday to participate in the press conference. Next article of interest. KRG delegation meets with Abdul Mahdi. 2019 to 23rd November 1154 Baghdad today. A delegation from the Kurdistan Regional Government, KRG, who arrived in Baghdad this morning met with Prime Minister Abdul Mahdi. The source said in an interview, Baghdad Today, the Kurdish government delegation met with Prime Minister Abdul Mahdi after arriving this morning in Baghdad. He added, the delegation included the Minister of Economy and Finance of the Kurdistan region Awad Sheikh Janab and the Minister of the Region Khalid Shwani and the Chief of the Cabinet of the Council of Ministers of the Region Omid Saba, in addition to the Secretary of the Council of Ministers of the Region Amin Rahim. The informed source had reported, earlier today, that a delegation representing the Kurdistan regional government arrived in the capital Baghdad this morning. The source said in an interview, Baghdad Today, the government delegation, which is expected to discuss the 2020 budget and the share of Kurdistan, in addition to discussing the oil issue between the parties. The informed source had reported earlier in the day that a high-level delegation from the Kurdistan regional government is scheduled to visit the capital Baghdad today. The source said in an interview with Baghdad Today, the delegation will meet with Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi, Oil Minister Thay Mergadbin, and Finance Minister Fuad Hussein, pointing out that they will discuss the issue of oil and gas and the general budget. He added, the delegation of the government of the region consists of Minister of Finance and Economy Awad Sheikh Janab, and the Minister of the region, Khalid Shwani, and the Chief Cabinet Office Omid Saba, and the Secretary of the Council of Ministers of the region Amin Rahim. Next article of interest. How Bausi, Legislation Commission and elections to the House of Representatives top the agenda of Monday's session. November 23, 2019, Baghdad. Euphrates News, the President of the House of Representatives Mohammed Habausi, on Saturday, that the laws of the Electoral Commission and elections to the House of Representatives topped the agenda of Monday's session. Al Habausi stressed in a brief statement on the importance of proceeding with the approval of the draft law of the Independent High Electoral Commission and the elections of the Iraqi Council of Representatives. The House of Representatives postponed its session until next Monday after it was scheduled to be held today. Is over. Next article of interest. The end of the Kurdistan delegation's meeting with the federal government without agreement. 23rd November, 2019 Baghdad. An informed source said on Saturday, the end of the meeting of the Kurdistan delegation visiting Baghdad, without reaching a final agreement with the federal government. The source told Shafak News that the Kurdistan delegation, after meeting for about two hours with Iraqi Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi and a technical delegation, will return to Kurdistan, noting that the meeting did not witness an agreement between the two sides. The source added that the meeting witnessed the discussion of several things, including the dues of the Kurdistan region and the delivery of oil imports to SOMO and other files, pointing out that the Kurdistan delegation presented its demands to the federal government. He noted that the two sides are scheduled to agree on several things by the middle of this week. The delegation of the Kurdistan regional government arrived on Saturday to the capital Baghdad to discuss a number of files with the federal government, including oil and the Kurdistan region's share of the federal budget for 2020. The delegation of the Kurdistan region consisted of the Minister of Finance and Economy Awat Janab, the Minister of the region, Khalid Shwani, the Chief Cabinet Office Omid Saba and the Secretary of the Council of Ministers of the region Amin Rahim. Next article of interest. Legislative Parliament announces its procedures regarding amendments to the election and commission laws.
11 over 23 16 26 Baghdad, announced the Parliamentary Legal Committee on its procedures on amendments to the Election and Commission. This came during a meeting chaired by Ribor Hadi, chairman of the committee and the presence of its members, on Saturday, to discuss the law of elections to the House of Representatives. The committee said in a statement, received, Euphrates News, a copy of it, that, work on the legislation of the election law of the House of Representatives and the law of the commission in its new form within the legal committee is consistent with the guidance of the wise reference to the need to legislate a law that meets the aspirations of the Iraqi people and achieve their aspirations to achieve a broad representation of all segments. It is in the process of addressing specialist, civil society organizations, trade unions and representatives of the United Nations in Iraq, as well as media elites, as well as representatives of the demonstrations to hear their suggestions and opinions on the proposed amendments to these laws. Next article of interest. Iraq's parliament approves changes to pension, anti-corruption laws, debates new election legislation. 21st November, 2019 Baghdad, Iraq's Council of Representatives, Parliament approved several draft laws and amendments submitted by the Iraqi government, parliamentary committees and MPs. The new laws and amendments reduce the retirement age of public sector workers, remove financial and other privileges from senior officials, introduce new rules on illegal financial gain, and grant greater powers and a wider remit to the Integrity Commission, Iraq's anti-corruption watchdog. The Council of Representatives also concluded the first reading of a draft electoral law and a draft law abolishing the current body overseeing elections in Iraq and replacing it with a new independent high electoral commission. Parliamentary approval of the new laws came as the Iraqi government continues to implement a series of measures to meet the legitimate demands of the protests and address the long-term aspirations of all Iraqis. Summary of the new laws and amendments approved by Iraq's parliament. The amended Unified Pension Law No. 9 of 2014 reduces the retirement age from 63 to 60 years, with exemptions for rare skills in certain sectors. Guarantees a minimum monthly pension of 400,000 Iraqi dinars. It is estimated that these and other changes will create more than 200,000 new vacancies in 2020. The amended Integrity Commission Law No. 30 of 2011 and the Illegal Gain Provision extends the remit of the Integrity Commission to cover trade unions, non-governmental organizations and professional associations. Tightens conflict of interest rules for officials. Prohibits officials from using their position or title to gain personal financial benefits. Any benefit obtained this way shall be regarded as illegal gain. Financial Privileges of Officials Law Abolishes the Financial Privileges of State Officials Law No. 13 of 2005 Removes a wide range of financial, health, housing, transport and security benefits from the President of the Republic, the Prime Minister and the Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ministers, MPs and other senior officials. The Draft Federal Electoral Law First Reading Reduces the age of candidacy from 30 to 25. Reduces the number of MPs from 329 to 251. Bans successful candidates and political blocs from creating a different coalition or form a new bloc until after the formation of the new government. The draft law establishing a new independent election commission. First reading. Establishes a new independent high electoral commission. Decrease that the work of commission will be overseen by seven commissioners. Authorizes the commission to seek international election advice. The Iraqi government will submit other draft laws to parliament over the coming weeks. Be sure to like, subscribe and check out the new CEP, Currency Exchange Planner, a must-have for both pre- and post-RV exchange planning. The link is in the description panel below. Tell them that Anarian sent you. I encourage you, knowledge is power, stay informed and stay alert. Over and out for now, the Denarian.